Around the Orx 3 release two years ago, I made a statement about the Orx Scutcheon that was a little bit wrong. I did a review of the shield in that video and I didn't actually understand completely what the shield made until recently when it has been one of the best items in the game and has changed the meta to Melee's instead of playing Warrior is now going for the Knight in, for example, the Shatters. If you've seen the hard mode Shatters loot montage that I released some days ago, uh, you see that Andreasen, which is most of the clips in that video, the class he uses is Knight. He's exalted all of his character, I think, so that's why he plays the same character in those halls. And he seems to think that the Knight with a scooch on and a gemstone is one of the best classes to do a solo on in hard mode shatters. Now, let's talk about the upsides of the Oryx Scootchon. On equip you get 10 defense, which is not that impressive, but you get an impressive 7 speed instead. And this speed will help you be able to dodge faster in Orx 3 and Shadows for example, where the speed is a viable and needful stat for a slow melee class. The 3 beams the Orx Scootchon creates in front of the character deals a whopping 1000 to 1200 damage, on uh, the enemies and will hit three times and the max cost range is three squares and this is very powerful running around in for example orcs 3 and shatters when you see the hard mode shatters uh, king fight you do realize that you have to be on the run all the time and therefore a tiered shield would be very uh, hard to hit most of the shots uh, on the enemies and to do maximum damage with the tiered shield or an Ogmer, for example, you do have to stand very, very close to the enemy. But Orcs is Scootchen, you can press spacebar and the beams stay on the exact spot as the first one hit and you can run away. This is the best thing with Orcs is Scootchen. You can be a knight running around just pressing spacebar in hope for the boss to go into those beams. Hopefully the boss will take at least two and sometimes if you hit in the perfect spot all three of the beams will hit instead. And this is where the Oryx Escuchon is amazing at. You can deal around 3000 damage per ability and if you have the gemstone uh, combined with it you can do a lot more damage since the gemstone has a mana uh, proc which makes your ability cost less MP. So let's take a look on the, the, the gemstone and Oryx Scootchon. Combining the Oryx Scootchon with the Twilight Gemstone from Shatters, you can have a reduction of 30 MP per ability, so the shield will cost you 70 mana, and you do get some extra mana with the Twilight Gemstone, you get 110 and also 5 Wisdom. So this will increase your ability to spam this shield and do massive amounts of damage and especially if a boss is stationary uh, in some phases you can do massive amount of damage you can also uh, pre-aim where you want the beams to go where when the boss comes you will do a lot of damage uh, directly. Another viable option with this set is to use the Breastplate of New Life from Marble Colossus. Since you do lose a little bit of HP from using the Twilight Gemstone and not having a shield like Ogmer or the tier 7 or tier 6 which gives you HP. And that's the main bad thing about this shield uh, and using the Twilight Gemstone for example is that you're losing HP on your character, but using the breastplate of new life you will get 160 HP, which is a, a, almost a UB HP worth of life. Also here in the footage you can see me going around in a fungal cavern and Another thing with this shield, another good thing, is that you can spam this through walls. 
uh, like the divinity when the beam uh, goes uh, in front of you you can make it go through walls and this is why the orcs scooch on and divinity combo is so good in the new shatters especially clearing at the first uh, courtyard uh, before the first boss where you have enemies uh, in the houses uh, you can just spam the uh, a scooch on and using the divinity to kill the enemies and you can hide behind walls on the second clear in the library of uh, twilight archmage clear and it's just an amazing combo and i really like that Decca has designed the twilight gemstone to work so perfectly with some items that the coochie just becomes an overpowered item for the past years, Warrior and Paladin have been the meta on the melees, but I see more players now going for the Knight in Shatters and uh, more endgame dungeons today because of the Orcs Scutcheon, and it makes almost all the other shields uh, not usable. The Scutum is bad overall, tier 7 is just meh, you have to stand in the enemies to do the damage, and I, the only UT shield I can see someone using is the Ogmer, of course, for the armor break. So having the Ogmer and Orcs Scutcheon is just a good combination. Not for yourself since the damage from the Orcs Scutcheon is armor piercing, uh, but for a group play with armor broke. Another combination you can, can do with this set to maximize the output of your ability is using the Resu from Haunted Cemetery and that um, Armor gives you 150 extra MP, 17 defense and 20 wisdom. So that will make your mana uh, regen faster and also having 150 MP, which is two of the Kuchi abilities using the Twilight Gemstone, of course. And I counted in total, you can do 12 abilities if you have a 100-100 pet before your mana runs out. That is just crazy. And with an armor like the Breastplate or the Karas, for example, you can do around, around 7, 8, 9 abilities before your mana runs out. And with an Exalted Godsworn, it's sadly only 3. So you can see how impactful the gemstone is on this set. And it is a good recommendation if you want to do massive amount of damage and do some solo play in, for example, Shatters. Because I, if you see on Andreasen, he only plays Knight. And I think there's a reason for that. And I'm happy for the knight being in the meta. What do you think about this? I think it's a little bit broken, but I don't know. I, I like it uh, since the warrior and paladin have been in the spotlight for so long. I like that the knight has some really nice items now after the uh, orcs release uh, from two years ago. I hope you liked this video and made you want to play the orcs scooch on a little bit more and maybe try out the twilight gemstone i know some players are afraid to use the twilight gemstones with sets because you do lose on mp but if you have the breastplate of new life it's a very viable uh, combination so that's everything for me now i'm in austria right now when i release this video i've made uh, videos beforehand before i leave so there will be some videos now when i'm gone but i'm back around the 20th of july before month of mad god so you will be seeing all those month of mad god videos soon but like the video i'll see you guys later bye bye